Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, you should smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. So guys, with that all said, don't forget that all the downloads will be inside my description below. That includes the author's comments and etc. And one more thing guys, don't forget to disable your antivirus. So with that all said guys, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, as you guys can see that this video is all about how to install Arena Wars Business into your GTA V folder for PC. So all you guys gotta do, okay, to get straight into the mod is download the mod, okay, push download. I will leave the download in some of the description and all the other mods too. So all you guys got to do is download the mod and once you download the mod, extract your file, your folder or open it and once you guys open up your folder, all you got to do is that go to your GTA V game, right click, open file location. Now guys, just to let you guys know that this is that this is starting with a new folder. As you guys can see, there's no mods in here. So we're gonna start with a new folder. So to so guys to actually install your arena wars business into your folder, you need to install Scriptog V. Make sure that you got the latest Scriptog V. Open up your bin folder. Uh, uh, then I uh, select the dinport 8.dll and scriptogv.dll and then paste it into your GTA V main directory. Then close that. Then after that guys, open up your scriptogv.net. Then scroll right down the bottom of here guys and then select scriptogv.net. .asi and DLL and XML. Then drag that to your GTA V main directory. Then open up your Trainer V. Make sure that everything is the latest version. Trainer V just been updated by the way. And then click on Trainer V.ini and .asi and then install it into your GTA V main directory open up your menu and then now uh, select menu stuff and menu.asi and then drag it into your GTA V main directory and then now uh, guys basically we already installed all the mods right click on your folder new folder and name it scripts and there we go guys, open up your scripts folder, oh no, oh yeah, open up your scripts folder guys, and then now uh, select the Arena Wars Business, and then now uh, select the Arena Wars Business folder, and the Arena Wars Business DLL, and drag that into your scripts folder. Once you guys finish that, go back to your main folder. And then now I forgot guys, click on map reveal and open interiors. Okay guys, and now copy the whole thing and then now drag that into your GTA V main directory. Quit out of there guys, and now lastly, go back to your scripts folder. I forgot. Then now make sure you got the latest native UI. Open up your native UI. And then now drag that into your scripts folder. And then now we've done that, done that, done that, 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 and that. So we basically done the whole thing. So guys, make sure in your scripts folder you got the Arena Wars and the Arena Wars.dll and the latest native UI.dll. And then now make sure you guys got the 
requirements that is in my description too. Right click on your folder, refresh, quit. Right click on your desktop, refresh. Go to your open IV. Open up your Grand Theft Auto V windows. This will take a few seconds, depends on your PC performance. Then now guys, once you guys open up your your open iv go to go to tools go to asi manager and then i'll make sure all these are installed once this comes up push yes then install this and then close and then edit mode guys and then yes and then that's it quit out of there guys right click on your desktop refresh three times and then so here we go guys, I will see you guys in the game. And we're back again guys. So now guys, what we gotta do is that we go to go and test out the mods first before we go to the, the arena wars. So press F4, yes that does work. And now let's open up menu, press F8. And that does work too. So yes, the mods does work. And now open up your map and yes the map reveal mod does work and the open interior does work too so guys here is the arena wars it's just right over here guys so totally put over there guys but guys there is a few things that's wrong okay so let's go over there guys and i'll talk to you guys while we are over the, over there so guys here we are now so now there is a few things wrong, okay guys. Number one is that you cannot go into the garage, okay? You you guys, you just can't go in the garage just like that, okay? You just can't go in the garage and you can't go to your office or to the arena just like that first. Uh, every time when you go in the game, okay guys, every time when you open up your game, um, there is a few things wrong, you can't go in, okay? But there is a solution to go in. Um, I tried a lot of things, okay. But as you guys can see, okay, I will fly the drone, and there's nothing in there, okay. See, absolutely nothing. So what will happen, guys, is that. Uh, so guys, what will happen, okay, is that if you go through this teleporter, you will fall down the map, okay, and and basically die if you don't have God mode on. So yeah. But I have found a solution to fix that and now all you guys got to do okay to fix that and to go inside the building uh, is that you got to press F4 to open up your trainer V. Go to teleporting, go to other teleports, then now scroll down to enable NP maps. It will take a few seconds to load up. Your game will freeze for, for a bit. And there you go. Now go down to Arena War Teleports. And then go to Workshop B1 first. And there you go. Now you won't uh, fall down a map. So guys, as you guys can see, I am inside the Arena Wars. Um, garage this is pretty cool and now let's go to another garage uh, let's come over here guys where does this lead me to uh, exit yes this this exit all right there you go and now we can exit out of there um or we can go press f4 again uh there 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 and now we can go to your workshop too. Uh, yeah, and now over here, guys, we can um, like um, we can enable Christmas decorations. There, yeah, guys, uh, we can enable like arena construction, pets inside the arena, personal quarters, trophies, or whatever around the um, uh, around the workshop. Up to you guys and we can go to the VIP lounge this is the VIP lounge uh, yeah this is pretty cool 
and we can just enable all these things if you want to it's totally up to you guys if you want to enable them and then now guys let's go to the arena so this is the arena guys um, pretty cool you can come over here too and now play inside the arena uh, I mean not over here somewhere I think it's on the other, other side and what else uh, you can go to your workshop v2 yeah so that is pretty cool guys now guys since we already been through the whole thing we don't have to use the teleports now so let's go to um, workshop now we don't need to use the teleports anymore guys we can use these things uh, let's just, let's just say let's go over here guys and now I'll press E and there you go guys see um, and we can come over here guys and now press E Yo! and now see guys and now we can come over here go uh, to teleport to the workshop and there you go uh, and there goes our trucks going see it's all back now so yeah um, we, we can actually get in the vehicle and now uh, take the vehicles out uh, that's pretty cool see guys all these vehicles costed me nothing that's why it is good to have mods on PC um, press E to exit the garage and there you go guys Wow, this is pretty cool and awesome. And the good thing about it, you can modify your your truck for free. So let's go and modify our truck, guys. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Oh yeah, let's modify it. Oh, eh? uh, there you go. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Now let's go and take it back, guys, because I don't really want it. Ah, uh, just gonna. Oh, no 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 let's just leave it here Ugh. so you guys that is how you actually install this mod and that's how you actually get in uh get into the building so guys let me just recap that one more time okay make sure that you go to your trainer v go to teleporting go to other teleports and before you go to arena wars teleports enable your mp mats first and then go to arena war teleports go to workshop b1 first and then and then make sure you go to all these first and then you can use the teleports and you don't have to go and use your trainer v anymore so you can so yeah you guys can just use these teleports whenever you want but guys every time when you go in the game that's what you gotta do. You gotta open up your trainer V, okay? And you gotta teleport in there first, and then now teleport inside the other um, uh, buildings, and then you can use it without the trainer V. Now, guys, that's it. Now, guys, uh, it should work, okay? Because remember, I started installing this mod inside a clean folder. So it should work. If it worked for me, it should work for you. Don't forget, guys, um, to install this mod, okay? How I did it, okay? Is that I installed the latest native UI.dll and then I installed the Arena Wars business folder and the DLL file into the scripts folder. And make sure that you have the latest scriptogv.net and scriptogv2. Don't forget guys, the open interiors will be inside my description and GTA um, map reveal too. So guys, all these mods that I have given you guys will be inside my description. Make sure that you guys um, download and install the requirements first before you do anything. But if you guys already got a mod folder, all you guys can do is install the Arena Wars business the folder and the and the DLL file and the latest native UI and that's it that's all you guys can install 
So yes guys, I think that is it for me and I will be doing another tutorial on how to install uh, your CEO business and your MC business inside GTA V. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Don't forget guys, I always say this, if you guys need help and, and even advice or assistance, then please comment below. I will be more than welcome to help you guys. So guys, with that all said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace and I'm out. Thanks for watching guys.